What's up, gaming gamers? All right. Okay, so we're coming in here. We're gonna edit some uh, photos. So, I'm gonna grab my Canon 60 here, Mark II. Beautiful, absolutely killer camera. Got this. Um, right, little screen there. Okay, everything looks good there. Um, been rocking the uh, 50 millimeter lens. It's been good to me. Been very reliable for just about every shooting situation lately. Because I'm usually somewhat close to my subject. Um, and we're rocking. This is a 32 gig actually. This is kind of a small memory card. But I think it'll get the job done. So, go ahead and plug this in, and I'm going to get my photos ready to be edited, uh, and then we'll jump in, take a look at that. Uh, let's see how many we got. 77. Oof, that's a lot. Yeah, we're going to have, we have a lot to weed out, uh, so we'll, we'll look at them as we go. So let's open, click open. Because these are raw camera files. I'm gonna wanna grab these. I'm gonna go ahead and move them into. Ah, uh, what was today? The 20th? So we'll call it 8, 20, 20, and now I like to put 6D because I like to keep track of which camera I'm shooting with. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these files real quick. It's about a gig of data here. But yeah, I thought we kind of chill and do this. Um, later tonight, you can jump on some Spirit Fairer if there's time, I don't know sure how long this will take me um and then tomorrow i believe in the morning at around like 10 a.m i guess samurai jack is uh, supposed to go live that's supposed to be purchasable and playable and all that right now it's not it's not showing a time or, or a date or anything i'll check it again at midnight but if it's not up by, you know, right now it's 11.38, uh, typically games are up by, at, at 11 p.m. unless, you know, something, something's going uh, very different. Gonna try something uh, different and crazy.
Okay. Might be a little crazy. Try to open all of them. <laughs> Alright, we got we we got some gems here. Let's see. Maybe a little crazy. Some of these are a little dark. But let's let's see what we got. It's Presley. This okay, we're we're live in this in this window here. Let's see, I can I can probably yeah, arrow key around a little bit. Being such a good boy. There he is. I think he was licking the planter. <laughs> I took so many photos because I know he likes to look away and stuff. And then this is this is us going on a little walk here. Yeah, some of these photos will need to will need to brighten up the color just a little bit. But we got some good angles. I like it. We got some Ooh, we got some crisp angles there to work with. And it started to get kind of late. Started to get kind of late. But we we might have some good ones here. A lot of action shots. And then I got a bazillion over here. And then he was barking at the door because he was like, I want to go in. I want to treat. So yeah, this is him protesting. And then he kept trying to push the door open with his nose. And then that's him barking. <laughs> we got a lot of good bark shots, actually. Uh, and then this is him going around the kitchen. And now we're back to the beginning. Okay, so we got, we got some shots to work with. Stormzy, what's up, dude? Good morning to you, man. Holy crap. How, how are the rains down in Africa? Raging Girl, what's up? Yeah, we're uh, looking at some photos I took uh, this evening of Presley. And Gabs, what's up? Let's just see. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. There's a few that I like here. This is what he does when I when I get home. Let's just see what auto oh man, that's very, very high. Yikes. Yeah, that's a bit much. Um Yeah, he sniffs my knee because he can sniff my pant leg from the knee down and he can figure out who I've been around, if I've interacted with other dogs and stuff. So every time I get home, I get this little inspection here <laughs> where he, where he kind of checks out, sniffs my shoes, figures out where I've been. And, uh, you know, if he smells that I've been around another dog, one of his dog buddies or something, then, you know, he reacts uh, appropriately. With some barks. I think this is a good photo. There's there's something here. There's something here that's really nice. But this this is much. That's it's really going a little too far into the spectrum there. Let's see what they did. Yeah, it's like really overexposed. And, oh no, I was just thinking the. Uh, yeah, they went like they went like real crazy with it. Yeah, did you give love to another dog? Were were you hugging another good boy? So I think if we find like a nice middle ground before it starts to get grainy, you know, 
I, I don't like it when it starts getting grainy, because that just that defeats the purpose of just using a DSLR camera, right? I don't think we need much contrast here. Like, this image is just... And I, I kind of like... I kind of like that you can tell that it's... A little dark. Yeah, and then I think they had the shadows really high too. Oh, look at that. That's what he'd look like if he had black ears. Yeah, he's a good boy. Texture. You do it. Oh, yeah, textures. Yeah, if you want to make it look like an oil painting. It actually looks really pretty. But that's, that's, that's how, if you want to look fake and take away all your zits <laughs> in a photo, <laughs> just do that. Just smooth it all out. Or you can get like really fine, a grainy detail. You can do a lot of fun stuff actually, even just with, so this is just the camera raw settings uh, that you get as soon as you bring photos in off your DSLR into, um, Oh wow, this this really adds a lot. Look at that. Yeah, D A is really really takes you on a journey. That's if you really want to get kind of artsy, vibrance, right? We we don't need this. I I think we're getting a pretty good photo right here. Yeah, and then you can get really saturated. That's overdoing it. That's like if Presley was Auburn. <laughs> I can't believe that, that zero is, is where we're at. The coat has gotten a little, a little darker. Light balance as shot. Let's see what happens. Daylight, cloudy. Yeah, this is just gonna apply. It. Okay, that didn't ruin our our settings. I think I like that one. I like that it's kind of dark. So let's do. Let's do that. But I always like to make edit folder where I can dump all my edits for this project in. That's a good one. That's so let's find another one here. Dude Stormzy, how's how's the rebrand going? I know you were kinda talking about um wanting to go with more of a nineteen eighties style yeah so this is him just being a little goofball Let's see if we can add just a little see the auto auto mode let's let's go back to zero hang on I always like to see as, as novice as I am I always like to see what auto is gonna do <laughs> Because sometimes auto, you know, might give you a glimpse, you know, maybe they'll they'll have some setting tweaked where it's where it's like, oh yeah, that's just right. But yeah, they always kind of overdo it a little bit with the exposure. It's actually not too terrible. That might take me a little bit of time, won't it? I was I was telling him something, and he he turned to look at me. He was like, what? We're doing what? Yeah, I think I, I said the magic words right here. And then he went into movement mode. Yeah, look at this. This is four or five frames of, of full motion. Here we go. 
<laughs> With his little snout, he just comes. He's like, what? I said, do you want to go for a walk? Like, please. Anywhere but here. Really like that. I like that one. Oh, oh what did you do? Goodness. Hang on, maybe I can... Oh, not, not contrast. You don't, you don't want it grainier. Hello, 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 hello. Oof, here we go. My life. Wanna Yeah. Too much. Not too much. Texture, clarity. already we don't need saturation laziness caught up with me last night so i'll definitely continue today yeah dude that's good and and definitely reach out yeah reach out to um video vomit and um that's actually blake uh mage of elgara that's that's actually blake you remember blake she's she's rebranded a lot um but yeah, they're incredibly skilled and they they kind of know what you're going for. I, I know Video Vomit often sort of reaches into that 80s style. He's so cute. Reaches into that like 80s style a lot for some of the looks of, of his channel. You just go nuts with that Saturation. I, I don't know why. Or not saturation. No. But yeah, sometimes they do get a little crazy. Saturation. I gotta think about what I don't like with this. Yeah, Blake's great. Yeah, <laughs> Cat Ferrum. Cat Ferrum. I just want to pull a little bit more of that that brown that, that we know is kind of part of him. Part of his color. You just want a bunch of neon? Um... Uh oh, <laughs> we got the Tetris theme. Um, okay. No, it wasn't Nova. Yeah, I think there were a couple. Retro wave. And yeah, it might have been mostly retro wave. Might be a few others that are uh, kind of interesting. Um, I didn't save this one, did I? Let's go ahead and save it. That one's all right. Let's see. We I know there's a good one here. 
I don't like that one because there's there's not enough of him. Even though he has like the best look on his face. He's he's so excited. Ooh, I like that. They kind of brightened up the blackness around his eyes there. So that it wasn't so, um, you know what? Let's keep that one. You know what? I, I don't like all that empty space, but I, I think that's there. Don't want to disrespect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You definitely want your own thing. I think I, yeah, I was going vertical with the camera here. It wasn't terrible. This was hard because we're we're both walking. We were both walking here. <laughs> He's just got pure joy on his face. No, we need one more from his. We need at least one more of these. Ooh, that might be the one. That might be the one. 27.46. That one's kind of blurry. This one's okay. That one's framed pretty well. This one is a little out of frame. That one's, eh. That's, that's a gem. Is this one we kind of lost the right side of his face? And he does that. He turns his head when he's walking into the wind. Do you see that? How he kind of like tilts his head to the side as he walks into the wind. And he also sometimes he hunches his head downward. Either if he's smelling things or kind of walking along I think we go with 46 yeah that's where I got my um my transition is actually the retro wave yeah this little <laughs> that little gem my stinger as as they call it um but yeah let me see Is it this one? No, I might have to, uh... Yeah, yeah. So I think what I purchased was the Retro Wave. Which is very common. There's a lot of people that have this package. See that? So some of those are, are really good. Um, but there's also Synthwave. Um, but we don't need a video. Um, which I think Ridersaurus was using this at one point. I actually really like this. I like the stripes. Yeah, those stripes are... That's 80s, right? Yeah, this one actually looks pretty good. And then, of course, you know, it offers all these colors, but once you bring these scenes into OBS, right? You can come in here and change... You can change those colors yourself when you bring it in. Yeah, I think, I think Retro Wave might have been a little bit... Well, I don't know. This one's got a lot of chrome. <laughs> but yeah, in, in the actual overlays here, you have some control there. 
and and you can you know you can tweak things you can add and remove stuff but yeah if we look at kind of what i'm doing let me see let me see yeah this is my stream starting right so it's it's kind of 80s a little bit in my break scene I, I keep things very basic now but I just kind of found my own font that I like I might have gotten rid of uh, some of the Camera border there. That. I think I got rid of some of the stuff. I'll find some stuff there. I, I think we're going to keep this image. This one's a good one. Ooh, that looks pretty sharp. I can just... I can just pull down whatever they kind of overdo which is usually a couple of things I had to really pull the whites because it was it was really cloudy to begin with plus this little harness is is best thing because I, I I got this little handle right there and so I can just pick him up or I can grab him there if I if I don't like something he's doing or where he's going I can get his attention really quickly even if I don't have him on the leash so if he's walking around the house with that on or if I need to pick him up to put him in the car I can just grab him by the handle and I put another hand around his belly so that he's comfortable because like obviously just lifting him by the handle would be Kind of cruel. It wouldn't be very comfortable for him. That's that's kind of like lifting a dog by the collar. That's not. But this is not near as, as horrible as that. But yeah, you lift him by that and then put another hand around his belly to secure him, and that that makes lifting him a lot easier. It puts a lot less pressure on on this arm below him that would normally be uh, lifting all of his weight. Which he can get, he gets a little chubby every now and then. He's, he's definitely in a chubby state at the moment. But that's alright, we're, we're gonna burn all that off, aren't we? Burn all that off doing some walking. Yeah, I got a little dark here. Oh my gosh, he is prowling. Get him. Oh, those little strangle collars, yeah. No, this harness is really great because it kind of goes right here and then it goes before his front legs. So whenever I pull on the leash, it, it pulls on his front legs and lets him know to stop. And so that that's really helped with training him, you know, how to walk and who's in charge, who's the boss, stuff like that. Because very early on when we had the traditional collar and I had the leash on there, he, he wouldn't care if, if the leash was pulling and choking him in the neck. He'd be like, no, I'm going I'm going where I want to go. You're not the boss of me. And I was like, dude, you're you're going to have to learn some things here because that, that's not going to fly. You are going to have to learn some things, my friend. Gonna have to learn some things. I don't, uh, uh, don't want to get too fictional here. We're, we're trying to keep these somewhat in the realm of 
reality. Wouldn't mind doing some more artsy stuff, tinkering with the photos a bit. Okay, there's there's definitely some gems over here. Just gotta kind of figure out which ones. <laughs> He was looking for something here. You can see him sniffing. And then, then I called him out, and he's like, Haha, I'm not doing anything. He just kind of gives me that look. He's like, I wasn't doing anything. But I was. I'm doing this. I'm just complaining. This is my treat. Me a, give me a treat. Just waiting by the door. Oh. He's a little chunky. Just a little bit. Not much. That's what the pandemic does. Haven't been there. There it is. We're going to keep that one. That's a howl. And then we, I don't know. I don't know if we got a good one from the kitchen. There, there was a good shot that I had, but I, I didn't have my lens with me, so I couldn't, couldn't get that angle that Ugh, ugh. The lengths that they go to just like really brighten a shot. Too much. It's really great. We haven't totally messed this photo up just yet. somewhere so let's see let me take a look here let's see where we're at eight that's eight images <laughs> he's such a good boy He's a good old boy. Okay, I think, I think he put done. Oh. Alright, let's go back over here for a sec. Um, let's check. Nope, still nothing on uh, Samurai Jack. Yeah, it's past midnight, so. It's, uh, 
I think it's not going to be available till 10 a.m. And it's weird that it's not, uh, you can't pre-order it yet on Steam, even though it's out. Coming out. I'm really excited for this game. I, I don't know. I think a lot of people were thinking it's just going to be like a crappy, like, movie game type port, but, uh, I don't know. I, I, some of the gameplay I've seen, it looks like it's really captured the world, and this looks like a good fun time. So, we'll see. Uh, so now, we get to the fun part. Get to the fun part. Dude, Kong! Dude, man, it's just checking out the Samurai Jack game. Yeah, it's not out just yet. Uh, rumor is it's coming out at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be checking that one out tomorrow. Oh, dude, it was such a great show. Such a great show. Oh, and by the way, gamers, if you haven't checked out, I, I got this new new video up about uh, this new game, Black Myth Wukong. It's a game that's coming out of China. And if you're interested in games like uh, Sekiro and Dark Souls and stuff like that, um, or if you're a fan of these uh, Journey to the West uh, style games, uh, mythology and whatnot, um, it's it's definitely worth checking out and it's about 13 minutes of, of gameplay uh, that they've shown off and it's it's really good so I did a little gameplay analysis where I sort of just analyzed uh, what they've shown us in that in that video so definitely uh, take a look at that so let's see here this is on to the, the next part next phase of what I like to do Show you guys a little glimpse. Yeah, here we go. So here's here's some photos of good old Presley. Being a being a good old boy. And this was from our walk the other day. Some of these just came out really good. Didn't didn't require much editing when the lighting was just a dream. Like it was just like everything was perfect. Everything just lined up just right. Under the light in his eyes. Get a few, few different shots, you know. This one, this is cute. Wait, what's happening? That was a good low perspective. I wish, I wish I got more up here, but. I was just kind of holding the camera as we're both walking, trying to catch a good, low, slow angle on him. So it wasn't bad and terrible. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna upload these. These are for the Patreon guys. So you guys got a little little behind the scenes here. <laughs> got to check out some photos. See see behind the magic. Now, it's gonna go in here. Grab our, grab our edits. And once we're, once they're all uploaded, uh, see what's best. What's going on tonight, man? What's, what's new? Um, let's see. It's Thursday. Was tonight fight night? Was tonight our fight? Dang. I don't know which one I want to make the cover here. Let me show you guys. We kind of get one photo that's kind of like the highlight, right? 
And I think it's either gotta be this one or or this one when when he was walking. Just don't know. I kinda like there's something I like about this one. Maybe it's his eyes and just just the way his face looks. And if we if we drag this one up. That's kinda perfect, isn't it? But the other one's a little curious, a little inquisitive, right? But this one's got, you know, a multitude of different colors. That's probably going to catch your eye a little quicker. And then these other photos will pull you in. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's solid title. And of course, if you're a content creator, right? You're going to know all about this stuff right here. Right? I already I already got them like hotkeyed. All the all the tags I like to use uh, this type of stuff. Let's copy that. This is kind of the teaser text um, for those that are not uh, donors or guardians. Which for one dollar you get the Presley tier here on Patreon. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it now. Because why the frick not? But yeah, we can see. We look at all how do we do this publish yeah you can see some of the stuff we've been doing we do a lot of unboxings here photos of presley anytime i get new stuff or merch uh whether it's sent in from companies or uh or just something i purchase and uh tinker with myself done a lot of stuff but uh we haven't really been able to do quite as much uh since covid hit um you know it's just like less stuff coming in the mail you know it, being more tight with the money and there's just not it hadn't been a lot of collector's editions or or a lot of geek merch uh to buy lately e even if i wanted to you know That's some good stuff. Okay, so got that. Uh, let me let me double check here. Hang on. Yeah, we're good. All those photos were pulled, so I'm going to wipe the uh, memory card. Because that's, that's about a gig worth of photos that we took tonight. So, wipe that off the memory card. And grab our... Always put it back in, because holy crap, you'll forget that you left this plugged into your PC, and then you'll grab your camera, go out on a shoot, and then you'll power it up, and they'll say, no card. But yeah, biggest mistake is not reassembling your camera ready at all times uh, for whatever the next opportunity comes. Go out and shoot. Always got to have your battery charged, your lenses, everything ready to go. Okay.
So I think, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. We could do, oh my god. Put myself in a feedback loop there. Um, that's all set. Music is off. That'll wake you up on it. Got that. We got our new, new photos. Presley the Beagle, and uh, I don't know, do we want to go live with a little spirit fairer? We want to check that out some more tonight. That's been a big hit, actually. Um, getting a number of views on uh, YouTube after the fact, and we we had a really great presence here here in the stream. Um, I'd like to play that in the in the daytime sometime as well. I think that would be really fun. But it's, it's such a relaxing and uh, good fun time. Why is it saying it thinks I'll like channels that I'm already following? That's, that's weird. It's very weird, Twitch. Don't do that. A lot of people playing Mortal Shell, and that looks like fun. Definitely looks like fun. Got that. And we actually just purchased a uh, Spirit Fair on stream. Uh, we got it for Steam here. Because I'd put in about three hours on Xbox Game Pass. And it was killer. It was a good fun time. It was relaxing. Um, so definitely, definitely throw this one on your... Wish list, whatever you got. Let me let me grab a link here for those of you. Um, it's part of Xbox Game Pass, so if you're already a member of that, you can play it on Xbox or PC. Um, and it's it's definitely a, a chill, relaxing, a beautiful game. Play my get that. Ready, we can probably jump in for a little bit. I'm gonna click this off for a little excursion into that. Oh yeah, and then I've got this this scene. It's not very retro wave, but it it's definitely got some of the like computer type and all these other things. So it's kinda got some of the look of the uh, 80s retro stuff, but not not too much of it. Mixed with a little bit of sci-fi. But I like the colors because they, they really pop and the animations are nice. Stuff like that. Killer. Uh, so let's set up your spirit fairer. I think we could probably put in a little little bit of time. Cool? Okay. 